Hello, this is Dr. Gary Pepper for Metabolism.com. I wanted to spend a, a few minutes discussing some new treatments for hot flashes. Hot flashes occur starting after menopause and are related to the sudden drop in estrogen levels. Um, they can occur any time of the day or night and they can go on for years. Uh, a hot flash occurs suddenly uh, initially with some flushing, sweating, and then a few minutes later a chill, and they are described as being very disturbing and uncomfortable. Obviously I wouldn't know personally, but um, it would be great if there was a simple solution uh, to getting rid of them. Uh, unfortunately I don't know of any simple solution. The best solution uh, appears to be estrogen, though uh, several years ago major studies showed that there may be an increased risk of breast cancer and of blood clots with estrogen, so uh, this is not uh, being used nearly as frequently as it was at one time. Where does that leave us? Well, a recent study has shown that um, other types of medications used to treat different conditions can uh, eliminate or at least greatly reduce um, hot flashes, their frequency and intensity. One of those treatments is Effexor, which has been used as an antidepressant and an anti-anxiety agent. And it comes in a generic once a day form. Um, another um, treatment is clonidine, which is an old form of uh, blood pressure lowering medicine and this also has been shown to reduce the uh, incidence of hot flashes by about 40%. Um, how would you know whether either of these uh, medications uh, is appropriate for you? The only way I know uh, would be for you to ask your own doctor, GYN or internist, uh, based on your history and your needs uh, if either one of these uh, medications would be appropriate. What I uh, hope to do uh, in the coming weeks is get questions uh, from you about your own concerns and what I'm thinking is why don't you um, post questions to my Twitter account at Metabolink or on my website metabolism.com and I can review those questions and pick one uh, that is particularly interesting and relevant to uh, the wide audience. And then I will post my response here. You can check again at tw the Twitter account at Metabolink or on the web at metabolism.com or on Facebook metabolism.com for the response which would take about a week. So I look forward to hearing from you uh, and hopefully I can supply you with some information you'll find interesting. Okay, well, thanks for watching and take care. Bye now.